Hi Graham, you've had a rich and storied career in, in iron ore, namely with BHP. What's attracted you to Acora Resources? Well, uh, it was the iron ore link to start with. Um, I kind of grew up in, uh, in the steel industry. Um, my father, my grandfather and my great-grandfather were all involved in the steel sector and the mining sector. Um, and then I spent 30 odd years with VHP, the first 15 of that, in the steel industry, uh, all at the front end of the steelwork, so in and around iron ore and blast furnaces and cinder plants. So that was the initial attraction. And what is it about a quarter resources that, that's really sort of got you excited? Well, I think in iron ore and in most minerals, it starts with how good is the, the ore deposit, and how good is the grade. And I think what we've got in Madagascar is outstanding. Uh, and it's outstanding on two levels. You know, one, the DSO ore, so the direct shipping ore, which can go into the traditional steel making processes. Uh, and it's on the surface, it's gonna be low cost. We can just basically pick it up and throw it on a, on a ship and move forward. But then underneath that is the magnetite. And that's again, very high grade. And that's the kind of resource that's gonna be necessary for green steel in the future. For those who don't know, steel making is traditionally made in blast furnaces but there's direct reduced iron, which is a real growth um, sector, and that's the real opportunity for Acora? Yeah, look, I, we, we're in a great position to have a little bit both ways because we start off uh, feeding into the traditional steel making route uh, with the high grade direct shipping ore, but then beneath that, the magnetite ore, which is very high grade uh, and upgrades very uh, very easily, we think, once we, once we finish the, the feasibility studies, et cetera. Um, that's a process where the higher the FE content, the easier it is to make direct reduce iron. So you're basically jumping the blast furnace step, which requires the, uh, the carbon import through, uh, through coking coal into the blast furnace. So as a third generation steel man, what do you think you can bring to the table and help a core achieve its aims? Well, hopefully a lot of things. Uh, certainly uh, my technical background, I think it's helpful because I spent a lot of time with BHP, both in the steel industry and then when I ran the iron ore business, bringing new iron ore deposits on, online and understanding how those deposits perform through the traditional steel making process. But over and above that, I've uh, headed up a number of commodity divisions in BHP, many of those uh, in developing countries. And so I, can, I know what it's, uh, what's important to bring online new projects in developing countries to get that right, not only for shareholders obviously, but for the local community and to work with local governments and customers to underpin capital investments that can be life-changing for all of those that are involved in those kind of projects. Now I know Acora has set up a data room for the interest they've received. What is that interest been like from off-takers? Yeah, look, we've got uh, quite a lot of interest in, uh, in where the project is. It's particularly positive given the early stages that we're, we're at, but we've got people there that can see the potential, not only of the, uh, the early stage development and the fact that we could get uh, ore into steel mills very early on and that will create a cash flow which will underpin the further development of the projects. But they're also, I think, got an eye on the future, uh, the much larger uh, resource that we've got uh, in Magnetite, not only at Becky Soper, but as we do more work down at Satra Kala, we're very, uh, very optimistic about the fact that that'll be an even bigger resource, but there's more work to be done to prove that up. So overall, what do you feel about the potential for Acora? Well, if the potential wasn't great, it wouldn't be here. I mean, I, I, one of the, the key decisions that I wanted to make in getting involved with a, with a junior was that uh, it, it could be a real project. So the, the, the box that I wanted to tick before I came on board was to understand whether the resource was there. And I'm confident that uh, based on what I've seen that we've got a really, uh, really good initial inferred resource at Becky Soper and lots of potential to, to develop both that and, and further south at Satrakala. But then also I wanted to work with people that knew what they were doing. And uh, you know, I've been very pleased in the diligence that I've done that the, uh, the rest of the board team and the management team, very small but very competent and very dedicated to actually making this thing work.